Creating new accounts for your online store can be very useful to better manage and distribute the workload. If you feel that being the only user of your store makes it difficult to manage everything and you need help from your employees, then this is a good solution for you. This feature allows you to create separate accounts and set the permissions for each one according to your requirements. This way you can limit the access to the more sensitive information and actions in your account. On your admin panel, start by going to Accounts and clicking on Preferences. Here you can see the accounts already created with email, name, surname, role, and permissions. When you create your store, an administrator account is automatically created. To create new accounts, click on Create Account in the top right corner and fill out the name, surname, and email of the person that you would like to give access to. Regarding the language option, it will affect the language in which the admin panel interface is shown to this account. Moving on to the role of the account. The first role is Administrator, which gives permissions to everything in your store and has the power to grant or remove permissions from other users and add or remove users. There are four other personalized roles that have more limited permissions. The Manager role can access the main sections of your store like the dashboard, orders, products, customers, promotions, and reviews. The Designer role can access the sections related to design, such as themes, assets, and navigation. The Logistics role can access the sections related to inventory management, like products, customers, fulfillment, and manifests. The Courier role can access the sections related to the fulfillment orders, such as orders with read-only permission and fulfillment. In case none of these roles apply, you can choose the role Customized to choose which permissions to give. To get a detailed description of what each permission does, please check our link in the description of this video. Take into account that all these roles, except the Administrator one, require you to be subscribed to the Premium Plan or higher. The new account will have an API login and authentication token displayed in the API section after you create it. Once you're done, click Save. In case you want to change the permissions of this account again, click on the pencil icon next to it. You can also delete the account to revoke their access to your store by clicking on the trash icon. Here's what it looks like from the perspective of the person you've just added. After having clicked on the email sent to them, they will have to set the account password to enter the admin panel. As you can see, since you added an account with the administrator role, they have access to everything. However, if you add an account with the designer role, for example, since it has fewer permissions, you can see that most of the menus are no longer available. Finally, the users you add can check their account options by going to Account and clicking Preferences. There, they'll be able to change their information, as well as check their API login and authentication token, and activate two-factor authentication for extra security. That's it! Now you should be able to create new accounts to access your admin panel with ease. Find more information at jumpseller.com support, or by subscribing to the Jumpseller YouTube channel.